What Works, brought to you by Detrol LA. Ask your doctor if Detrol LA is right for you. And as we continue our week-long focus on things that actually work in this country, we're looking tonight at astonishing advances in prosthetics, artificial limbs that may give wounded vets home from Iraq a chance to live the kind of life they might not have expected. Our What Works report tonight from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. I had this on for almost nine hours yesterday. Sergeant Michelle Rizitz, who lost a leg in Iraq, like so many amputees, is struggling to get accustomed to her new artificial leg. I find now that like watching TV commercials and seeing people with two legs, I, I kind of have like a resentment towards them, uh, just because you miss your own. Prosthetics have improved enormously over the decades, but everyone wants far better ones. When the amputee walks up hills... And Dr. Cars, Hugh Herr at MIT down, believes he soon will deliver just that. He started with studies of natural human legs. If you really understand human movement patterns, how we're controlled, how we balance, that can often uh, motivate how artificial legs are designed. The biggest problem with artificial legs now is that they are basically springs pushed by the remaining upper leg. With the conventional prosthesis, I'm more leaning like this. Her understands this well. At age 17, he lost both legs in a mountain climbing accident. I walk slower. The amount of energy I require to walk is higher, about 30%. And my stability is impaired. His latest invention is an artificial foot. It has a series of microprocessors that respond to commands from the body and silent electrical motors that provide the power that normally comes from the muscles in the ankle and lower legs. When he puts it on, it behaves like the human ankle. He says walking becomes immediately easier. And he says others who've tried it have the same experience. They'll be less tired at the end of the day, sure. The artificial foot should be available in a year. The next project is a bionic knee. And her predicts there will be continuing upgrades. It's very likely when I'm 80 years old, my balance will be superior even to an 18-year-old. An amazing dream for all amputees. It gives me more and more energy. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Cambridge, Massachusetts.